Hi, I'm Danelle with Marzetti Kitchens, and today I'm going to be sharing a few tips about caring for your cast iron cookware. As you can see, I just have a few basic pieces of cast iron cookware, but I really love them and I use them in my kitchen all the time. One of the things I love about my cast iron cookware is that it can go straight from the stove top to the oven, so I can use it for both cooking and baking. I also think when you serve up something in a cast iron skillet, it really adds a lot of charm and character to your dish. And cast iron cookware is so durable. With some basic care, it will last you forever. You'll be able to pass it on to your kids and your grandkids. So I have a 10 inch skillet, a 12 inch skillet, and a grill pan. I love to use my smaller skillet for things like cornbread, and I bake that right in the cast iron skillet in the oven. My larger pan here, I use for sauteing and cooking on the stovetop, and cast iron skillets are also really great for making pizza. You get a really deep dish crispy crust with them. So first let's talk about cleaning your cast iron cookware. The most important thing to remember here is that you don't want to use soap because that will damage the seasoning on your skillet. One thing to remember about cast iron cookware is that it can get very hot while you're cooking, so you want to wait until it's cooled down enough that you can handle it. And then basically you just need to take it over to your sink and rinse it out with some warm water. You want to be sure after you wash your skillet that you dry it out right away. This will help prevent rusting. If things don't get as clean as you'd like them to, wiping it with a cloth and warm water, I like to use one of these scraping tools and I can just go around the pan like this and scrape off the really stubborn food. A few other important things to remember about cleaning your cast iron skillet. You never want to take it from a hot stove and put it right into the water or it could crack. And you also don't want to soak your cast iron skillets because that could lead to rusting. So once you've washed and dried your cast iron skillet, you want to take just a little bit of food grade cooking oil, and I just use a paper towel, and you want to just rub a light coating of oil all over your skillet. This is also going to help prevent rusting. Earlier I mentioned the seasoning on your cast iron skillet. Most cast iron skillets come already seasoned, so that's not something you need to worry about when you first purchase a cast iron skillet. But over time, that kind of finish is going to wear down. You'll notice that your food start to stick, and that means that it's time to re-season your skillet. Basically all seasoning is, is touching up that non-stick, shiny finish on your skillet. And it's very simple to do. Again, we're going to need our food grade cooking oil and a paper towel. And we're going to rub that coating of oil around our skillet again. Maybe a little bit thicker than that you've used after you washed it. But you just want to make sure and coat everything. You can even do the outside if you'd like. So I'm going to be putting my cast iron skillet into a hot oven, so I'm going to go ahead and preheat that now. You'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While the oven's preheating, I'm just going to go ahead and make a few more preparations. I've got a large baking sheet here, and I've already torn off a big piece of foil to go over that. So I've just put that foil over my baking sheet, and basically this is just going to go into the oven on the bottom rack catch any drips of oil that might come off of the pan while we're seasoning it. So as you can see, I've got my foil lined sheet down here on the bottom rack of my oven. Now I'm going to take my cast iron skillet that I've already rubbed down with the oil, and I'm going to place it on the top rack upside down. So now you're going to leave your cast iron skillet in the oven for one hour. And after the hour's up, You'll want to turn off the oven, but leave your skillet in the oven until everything cools down and comes to room temperature. So I've just taken my skillet out of the oven, and it looks nice and shiny and smooth. That's what you're looking for after you've seasoned your skillet. It may be a bit sticky at first, but that's going to go away pretty quickly once you start to use it again. If you're not happy with the way your skillet looks when you take it out of the oven, you can re-season it again. You can repeat the process as many times as you'd like to until you get the finish that you're looking for. So basically that's all there is to caring for your cast iron cookware. If you follow these few simple steps, it's going to last forever and you'll be able to enjoy it for many years to come.